I have said in many of my videos um, the word game, that mathematics is like a game, that we play with some players, and those players, if they do their, their job, you can get the answer. And this strategy, which is a teaching strategy, is the way I teach mathematics, is the way that I learn mathematics. And today, I just have this example from the SAT, uh, from the section of geometry, which is um, in the category of hard questions. And I'm going to show you briefly uh, what is for me uh, this strategy, strategy this uh, teaching practice. How can we play and what are the players of the game? The game is the question. The game is a quiz. The, the, the game is an assessment, any assessment in mathematics. And we need to know our players and how important they are and how can I use them in the appropriate time to get the right answer. This is today's video. Let's see it. This is my teaching strategy. Um, we read the question and we get the information as normal. In the figure above, MQ and NR intersect at point P. That's a description of the picture. MP, this is what is now important. So I'm gonna use my highlight right here and I'm gonna go over MP equals QP. So MP right here is equal to Q and P, okay? And um, MP, letter M, P is equal to PR. What is the measurement of the angle QMR? So we're talking about this angle here, QMR. Remember what I said earlier, this question is from the SAT. Uh, geometry and in the category of hard questions. It's not hard if we know the players. Who are the players right here? What is the information that is a distraction? What is the information that really matters? And the explicit information, the explicit players and the hidden players. The hidden players. This is important. How to find the hidden players. So this is the players that we can see. I won't be using the yellow information. I, I don't think that I need it. I'm going to use the other explicit information. The MP equals PR. Now let me highlight it in green right now. Um, this is the information that I will be using. Why? Because we have a hidden player here. We have a hidden player here. What is a hidden player? So the hidden, the hidden player is this segment here that is equal to this segment. So this is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. The isosceles triangle is super important. Why? Because we have a hidden player here. The angles of the base are the same. Super important. They are the same. So look at this. We have a distraction, maybe, yes, maybe, no, I don't know it, the yellow information. And we have the explicit information, MP equals PR, but the, 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 implicit, the explicit information contain and implicit information, which is the triangle NPR is isosceles. And the angle basis or the angle opposite to the equal sides are the same. So look at the, the players, okay? And I'm using the color code in order to help my students to understand how to identify explicit, implicit, hidden features. Other players, right? This angle right here can be found. Can be found because uh, MQ is a straight line. 
and 60 and the angle red are supplementary angles. This is another hidden player. Supplementary. What is the meaning of supplementary? Okay, conceptually speaking, two angles that when you add them up, you get 180 degrees. Right here is this triangle. So we know that those, that information is 180 minus 60. So we have here 120. Okay. So that red angle is 120. Another player that you, at the beginning of the conversation, we didn't know that that player was right there, hidden. So we have 120. But I know that the blue is X, and the other blue is X. And I know that the sum of the interior angles in every triangle is equal to 180. That's it. This is another hidden player. So I can say that X plus X plus 120 is equal to 180, another hidden player. And the rest is algebra, another hidden player. So you add them up to x plus 120 equal 180, and you solve the equation is 2x equal 180 minus 120. What is the answer? 60. And then x is equal 60 divided by 2, which is 30. So we have 30 degrees here, and we have 30 degrees here, and this is the angle M Q M R equals 30 degrees. This is SAT geometry. Difficult question. Hard. The players. The yellow is a distraction. I don't need that play. The green is important. The green generates the hidden player. What is the hidden player? It's an isosceles triangle. And the two sides are equal, and the opposite side to those sides are equals. So we have X and X. Supplementary, another, another hidden player. Add up to 180. Those two angles, the red and the 60, make up the straight line. So the sum of them is 180. 180 minus 60 is equal 120. I have everything. What is the last player? The sum of the angles is equal to 180. You set up the equation and the final, final player, the algebra, solve the equation. The answer is 30. Finding players, finding hidden players. How? The hidden players are behind the explicit information. The one that you physically can see. Keep that in mind. The hidden players are behind the explicit information. The explicit information will generate the implicit and the and those implicit and that implicit information is what I call hidden players. Mathematics is a game. If you like this video, please subscribe. We are more than 1,200 right now. 1,230 and math topics is growing. If you like the video, give us a like. Write a comment below, share the video, subscribe. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.